Hi everyone. It's a pleasure day to meet you all and uh, I welcome you all to this channel. And uh, I must assure you that uh, with the beginning of this topic what we are going to start with I promise you that you will find some informative sessions information that you require to be as a strong trader you might be a newbie in this market you might be using some stochastic indicators lagging indicators and you might be thinking to become a full time trader but things are not going well so there is no worries i am here to help you out so with the first i will start with basics of this theory i will uh, come with some special classes some master classes this is going to be the first master class of the theory after that i will come in some sessions in that sessions you will start with some basic structures of engulfing that the theory i am starting with now the problem comes into the mind why you are here why you are at forex hunt why you are searching this topic why you are uh, going through this topic why you want to learn this topic because this is the most advanced and most easiest topic to start and to become a trader this works on all pairs every commodity market every currency market you can use even you can use it in stock markets that uh, particular uh, nifty 50 bank nifty fin nifty these all topics but i am specialized in gold as a gold trader i know where the market will potentially go it may bust up it may bust down what are the probabilities the probabilities are 90% that you will win in this market after using the engulfing theory if you use this theory in a particular set with some set of rules you will get very important knowledge so as a trader as a beginning trader you must know the basic structure of market the basic probability what you will lose what you will get reward okay so coming to the point i will uh, describe in this top in this video particularly that what is engulfing theory engulfing theory most advanced and easiest theory to learn as a beginner coming to the advanced topics you may find some difficulties in understanding the topics but to start as a trader as a new trader this theory is very important to be understood by you okay so in this particular video i will start with only the basics basics of engulfing i will bring you some series in that particular series you will find about the top sub topics which are what is engulfing buy engulfing sell where to find the engulfing buy and engulfing sell types of theory types of uh, engulfing slowly slowly you will become a pro trader being with me and i will try to uh, upload some videos on the basis of uh, how charts you can predict how can you predict the charts especially uh, the gold one so xau usd is a very beautiful pair why it is a beautiful pair because every new trader every new trader wants to trade gold xau usd it is a loving pair but still it hunts the maximum sl stop loss some newbie traders wipe out their capital wash their capital on the basis of one trade they took so why this happens usually this happens because you have are you are having a different mindset to earn a lot of money in a single trade you don't think that might be a possible chance that your trade will go in a wrong direction one wrong direction will wash your capital and you will be out of the market so basically 
you have to learn one thing the most important thing is that you need to survive in this market especially in gold you need to survive protect your capital it doesn't matter how much capital you have invested it may be 50 dollar 100 dollar it doesn't matter second take out of your mind all the superstitious things you may know what i am uh, talking about the superstitious thing that uh, uh, today was not my day uh, today one of my friend asked me not to trade that's why i hunted the sl today uh, i met with some incidents that made my mood off that's why i got the sl no these are not the f- things that making you lose you are the only one reason you are the reason of your losses you are the only one who is buying or selling in the market you see market is going in upward direction and automatically you press a buy for example market is going in this direction you found wow this broke the support this broke the resistance now i need to buy you press a buy and market shoe and now you do what what thing you say the broker is keeping an eye on me whenever i buy the market goes in sell whenever i sell the market goes in buy whenever i do both the things in a 50 dollar account only 50 dollar account you do what you do go buy and you do a sell when you sell the market goes in buy and when you buy market goes in sell and it ranges in between till the time you wash your account do you do what thing you have used particular 0.02 lots 0.02 lots this is fine in a 50 dollar account you can survive for 10 to 20 minutes but do you do what thing you press 0.02 when it reaches to the resistance what you have mark you don't need to mark these are not the support and resistance where market plays market is not idiot the players with billions of dollars are not idiot that they look to a support they look to a resistance and go for a buy or a sell with billions of dollars and hundreds of lots in their capital no in india i have seen some traders do what pennant triangle bull flag curve handle bullish flag bearish flag triangle rectangle what these things work in the market really no i have um, on instagram reels i have seen that someone has uh, designed a dinosaur in the market and from the tail it fall and he had posted it on social media and i know this is a meme but this also happens with this this pinnant triangle bullish flag and bearish flag what you call these are not the things you are here you are here with some special actions you need to buy or sell in a 6 trillion dollars market and what you do are doing what thing you are doing only a buy or a sell on the basis of chart you look in am5 you place some indicators and the indicators are giving you a very good result in the past no you are wrong indicators do what after market plays the role indicator shows here the price fall here the price bought and you think this is giving a signal in a live market no one can predict the market where it will go you can just plot some probabilities you can't to use the word definite in this market there is nothing definite there is nothing defined there is only probabilities only possibilities actions we need to combine some probabilities and possibilities to gain some results and the most important thing that is money management even after 90% win rate you can lose 
you can wipe up your account one single trade can do can wash your account one single trade this is a conception this is a very good conception that one single trade can wash your account even with a 90% accuracy you will lose your account don't do these things you are very lucky you are very uh, uh, good my, uh, human that uh, and it doesn't matter that uh, where someone have uh, whether someone have uh, scolded you on the day particular day you are not having good relationship with your friends your family your wife your girlfriend you are having some uh, issues with your relatives that doesn't matter in this market do you literally think crores of players are playing in this market and you think that due to your personal reason the market fall or the market goes up and do you think the broker has this much power that they will uh, do that you bow in the market and they go for a sell no this can't happen brokers yeah brokers can manipulate with their spreads with their sltps but they can do that thing that you bought in 1902 and it uh, made the gold to fall down till 1880 this can't happen these things are done by the uh, banks some, some gamblers or speculators you are a gambler idiot you can't do this those who do the same thing again and again and lose in the market and they uh, blame market that uh, the brokers are doing this with me and i am having issues with my relatives i am having issues with my relationships no you need to learn some particular set of skills that skill will lead you to do the special things that no one can do in the market so let us start without wasting the time these kinds of money management tricks tricks i will uh, come with this series regularly now you have to do one thing you have to learn what is engulfing theory so basically you may have uh, watched in the youtube channel where you <laughs> go daily and search the 100% accuracy setups there you may have find some candlestick patterns candlesticks patterns you may have heard so in this candlestick pattern there are some uh, patterns such as uh, morning star i am just recalling you you did these things morning star evening star uh, you may have uh, some doji hammer and something more and more you may you have some chances that you have heard about engulfing candlesticks engulfing candlesticks these candlesticks there are two types of candlesticks in this candlestick there are two types of engulfing by engulfing cell and you may have watched some tutorials and uh, you may have uh, used the tutorial in the market that the market is falling down like this she have formed an engulfing buy this is sell candle this is a uh, buy candle and you bought and it goes so no crazy this doesn't happen at all you can find here 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 many times you will find engulfing buy engulfing sell is that the meaning market will fall after uh, making a uh, designing a engulfing sell it will fall no there are some rules and regulations of checking engulfing buy and engulfing sell there are 16 type of engulfings from which you have to use four to five kinds of engulfing this will build your life i promise if you use this theory this will build your life so firstly i will teach you engulfing types there are two types of engulfing engulfing buy and engulfing sell in engulfing buy this is simple there is a red candle this is called seller's candle and there is a blue candle this is called buyer's candle eating the previous candle and this is the this this is the zone okay and in similarly in engulfing cell there is a buyer's candle which is eaten by a seller's candle this is engulfing cell 
Easy? <laughs> yes, this is so much easy. And I need to uh, recall some concepts. Let this be a seller candle. You know, seller candle. Red candle is known as seller candle. And uh, the seller candle is like uh, this. Red with a wick. I will explain this for you. This is upper wick. Sorry, this is a wick. This is wick. Okay. This is body within which we call it a volume. Okay. Volumes are like the orders placed at the time of forming the candle. This is open price. This is closed price. And the seller's candle forms like this. It will open here, fall, close. Simple. Now coming to the next point that is bias candle. Bias candle is like this. This is a bias candle. This is a wick. This is body which is filled with volume which is known as orders. Closed price, open price. Okay, and it forms like this. It opens here, goes, closes, sweep. This is our bias candle. Okay. After coming to the next topic, I will cover in two series engulfing by engulfing cell. Now in this particular topic, I will show you two or three types of engulfing by. Okay. And uh, in the second video, if you like this video, I will come with next video and there I will upload a CD and a video in which I will discuss some special types of engulfing by. Some correct engulfing bias and some incorrect engulfing bias that will um, emotionally hurt you. What you were doing in the market was opposite of what is going in the market. <laughs> so, engulfing bias is like this. There is a red candle formed, purple red candle, and a bias candle came and broke the zone and formed a candle this is a zone from this week to this week in engulfing in case of engulfing by you have to check the wicks in case there is no wicks you you can um, design draw it from here this this area but if there are wicks you need to draw the zones from the wick only okay you have to uh, mark a line from here you have to mark a line from here and uh, make it a box with a rectangle there is a tool in trading view rectangle you have to use rectangle to mark the zone properly and for for beginning period you can use it on a copy you need to uh, redefine the things on your copy you have to note it down in your notebook use a proper notebook for this engulfing buy engulfing sell all the theory you need to note it down in a notebook a special notebook that will change your life okay this is in the thing by and I have taught you how to mark the zone. This is a zone. This area is a zone where bias are placed. Okay. Now I will um, do one thing. This is first case of engulfing by. Now the second case of engulfing by how engulfing forms is red one red candle and there are two or three. For example, one second. What happened? <laughs> yeah, and there are two or three engulfing. Oh, sorry, two or three bias candle eating the red candle like this, and you can mark the zone from here. It is important that after drawing the line from this week or drawing the line from this week, 
this engulfing this bias candle should break over the zone this line and close above the line important for an engulfing buy bias candle must close above the line drawn from wick of the red candle upper side okay this is important after drawing a line from this wick this candle this blue candle needs to close above the line you have marked properly in every case of engulfing by here also in this case it is closed above the line okay now yeah and this types of engulfing it is not compulsory that 3 4 5 6 7 candles are here 8 1 2 3 4 this doesn't matter at all any number of candles can engulf the red one but there shouldn't be any red candle in between this line and this candles bias candle means you can uh, plot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 8. this bias candles can be here okay but there shouldn't be any red candle in between the bias candle to make an engulfing buy to form an engulfing buy okay clear and in the third case is for example this is an engulfing uh, this is a red candle seller's candle and this is engulfing buy like this this goes like this you will still mark it from here only. this is the correct engulfing buy okay this is the most important aspect that blue candles which doesn't matter at all from the lower side but yeah the body of the blue candle from upper side matters it should close above the line you have marked through the red candle so these are the basics that i have uh, i wanted to cover in this video and uh, after completing this video i have a suggestion for you please go through this video twice okay this is not an easy topic that i have covered today these are only two types of engulfing bias uh, please do not consider it e easy you have to practice and note it down into your notebook and uh, prepare this engulfing bias on your notebook properly without looking into this video but because it will not um, take it too much of your time you need to mark this on your charts and uh, implement this on your charts how to mark zones okay do this practice and in case you are having any type of question particular question please post it in the comment section i will reach out to you and uh, will solve your problems delicately so first of all please do the markings properly watch the video make the notes and uh, if you like the video please give some appreciation word into the comment section then i will make a new video a new series completing all the basics to advance so that you can be a pro trader without investing a single amount of money a single penny you don't need to uh, spend to learn this basic theory okay so follow this channel subscribe this channel so that you will get some updated videos regularly to complete your engulfings and i will come with some all the series that um, which time uh, which session you should trade which pairs you should trade why gold why some AUD CAD, usd euro usd gbp jpy which currencies are very strong to trade engulfings till time stay blessed stay happy follow and subscribe this channel thank you hey hi everyone so welcome back again to the forex hunt youtube channel and uh, hope you might have watched my first video about engulfing theory and uh, i think that you may have enjoyed it and you don't have any questions or queries related to the basic formation of engulfing by candles and some basics we have covered on the day so the topic which was uh, left was the engulfing cell okay so in this particular video i will teach you how to mark engulfing cell and in last video i have covered engulfing by those who haven't watched the video yet and uh, they are here to learn the engulfing theory go step by step watch the first video completely make the notes uh, ask any questions or doubts you are having in your mind and clear it before the time we start uh, our part two so let's start with engulfing cell uh, before that i will uh, in this video particularly i will tell you 
two basic concepts. First is engulfing cell, and the other one is volume price theory. Okay, in this particular video, I will cover uh, both these topics, so it will uh, help you to understand uh, uh, how to mark engulfing buy and engulfing sell. And uh, before starting this video, you may also re recap what you have learned in part one video. And this is going to be a series of a step by step videos in which I will cover how to mark engulfing buy engulfing sell in the live chart. And uh, you can go with the theory to make some profits out of the market. So. Clear your mind, uh, empty your mind, and uh, start with this topic. And, um, and don't think that you are using something different because this is a very uh, beautiful theory which will help you to um, gain some profit. So, let's start with today's topic that is engulfing cell markings. So, I am writing it here. What is engulfing cell? So, in last video, I have covered what is engulfing cell. What is engulfing cell? I have already covered. And I have taught you how to mark it. So firstly, this was the candle, bias candle, which was marked. And after that, the seller's candle was marked similarly, like this. And uh, this was the boundary area. Okay. So this was in nothing sell. And the important points in this uh, marking was these two wicks from which you will uh, draw your zones. And this is the area particularly, this is the area particularly which is very important. Your seller's candle should close below the line which you have drawn. Okay. This body closing is very important. Closing of body, body close is important. And uh, in uh, bias engulfing by, closing of body upper side of the drawn uh, zone line is important. So there is an important uh, quote that is quote. Buyer eats high. Seller eats low. This is very important uh, quote that is used in engulfing theory that buyer it's high and seller it's low this was given by lara ma'am lara summers okay that uh, how to mark engulfing buy and engulfing sell so coming to the next point how to mark engulfing sell so the first point is this is a buyer scandal and two, one, two, three. These are seller's candle, okay, properly. And you mark like this. So this is the second case of engulfing cell. Okay, and you have to remember one point: two, three, four, n number of candles can engulf. one bias candle similarly it was same in engulfing buy also two three numbers of bias candle engulf one red candle okay but there shouldn't be any blue candle bias candle within the red candles means this is okay one two three three red candles are engulfing uh, one white candle but there shouldn't be any blue candle in between here here that will destroy your engulfing cell markings okay so you have to check this verify this and this is the most important that i have already taught you that uh, the closing of the candle is very important body close is important not the wick in case uh, there is only a wick uh, like this only a wick so this is not correct okay if there is only wick outside the box that is not engulfing cell so uh, i have my this now yeah this is accurate okay 
this is second case of engulfing cell and in the third case of engulfing cell i will taught you how to mark this is a bias candle like this and uh, this is going to be a seller candle right here and the bias candle is being engulfed by blue candle and the wick is above the upper wick of the bias candle okay so this is also it. third case is which is right even in the case there is no wick only the body is here and there is nothing um on the head of this candle there is nothing like this wick so this is also accurate okay wick in engulfing cell upper direction is not important okay like this so this is particularly your three cases first engulfing cell second engulfing cell and third engulfing cell closing of body is very important i have already taught you closing of body is very important you have to keep in mind that without closing of the body there isn't be any uh, kind of engulfing cell or engulfing by you can mark clear now uh please recall this all uh, topics i have taught you and now i am going to the next topic which is volume price theory okay i am uh, uh, writing it here volume price theory which is also an important aspect of engulfing theory that uh, you will find many engulfing by engulfing cell you will find many engulfing by eg by an eg shell so is it a, a good thing that you will mark everything on your charts you can find millions of engulfing by engulfing cell do you need to mark every engulfing by engulfing cell at in shorts in um, instagram reels or youtube you have may, you may have watched like uh, market goes in down direction there exist an engulfing uh, there is is a red cell red candle like this and a buy forms exactly there and the market goes in like this who is it okay this is wrong market okay and this is wrong you know you need not to mark like this that market is falling from upper side and and uh, suddenly there comes an ingle uh, here a red candle and the red candle is being engulfed by a bias candle and you thought that you it will go shoot up no this is wrong market doesn't work like this okay market doesn't work like this so how exactly market works and when exactly market works okay you have to write it one thing here Uh, time. Time also matters. Okay. So, what is volume? So, volume is basically volume is basically large amount of orders at a particular time. and the most accurate time is us session and news impact when news come you may have suddenly watched that uh, when news come market is like this before coming the news and suddenly market uh, comes with the news and it like this this is spike oh so and again it comes to the normal behavior so the, this is spike this kind of spikes the spikes is created by volumes these are the reasons of spike volume exists and us session is like that uh, us session in india in india now bharat us session is like in between 5:30 pm 
to 7:30 pm this is most accurate time to accurate time for placing orders clear this is the most accurate time to of placing orders because in this time particularly there are large amount of volume exists and uh, maybe some news comes that causes the volume to get up hold up hold and the market gives a very good movement clear market gives a very good movement when us session starts and if news comes in the same period it will give a boost to your orders okay and some restrictions are there don't enter directly in the market after reading a news so many traders in the world do what they see actual forecast previous they learn the data this 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 comes this comes this comes you see which is greater than what which is lesser than what and what the impact of the news on dollars and exactly the opposite reaction on the gold if a uh, dollar goes high you will sell gold if dollar goes low you will buy gold you do directly no there are some places even the news comes like this you are here for buy and here for sell okay and we market is like here and the news comes for a sell even though if the news comes for a sell direction market will go like this and fall from here you will lose your account immediately with this spike this is spike you will lose your account wash your account so be serious trader don't do these kind of shits because this kind of shits will wash your account and let you to cry okay so and uh, i have taught you buy sell okay volume price theory and now in the next video i will try to cover the markings how to mark obviously i will not cover uh, the m1 m5 confirmations in this video because it may take a long time and after uh, completing this kind of series i will try to analyze the charts for example like uh, euro usd i will mark you euro usd xau usd a proper technical aspect of what happens to these pairs in one month one week daily analysis what will happen to this chart i will do this kind of analysis a proper one or two hours analysis for those traders uh, who are having a deep knowledge of engulfing theory or maybe smart money concept trend lines vertical lines what i were the things you use in the market i will properly analyze the charts with my knowledge my experience and my sanity so this will help you in becoming a better trader so let's meet in the next episode in the next episode till the time please do your analysis whatever i have taught you make the notes watch the analysis videos in youtube and uh, learn this all the concepts okay thank you subscribe to this channel for more important updates and uh, this kind of theories which will be helpful for you okay thank you have a nice day hi everyone good evening and uh, welcoming all again to the forex and youtube channel uh, i have started a series called investing theory series part 1 and part 2 has been completed this is part 3 and uh, in this part i will continue with the basics i have continued uh, last week so let's have a recall 
last time we have completed our two things two basics types of engulfing how we mark the engulfings uh, with the help of pen and paper trading i have uh, uh, designed the structures engulfing buy engulfing sell the types of engulfing buy engulfing sell the importance of wicks in engulfing markings uh, to mark the zones and uh, i have also completed the volume price theory so now we are moving uh, one step ahead of our basics so this is going to be an advanced version of what we have uh, uh, learned in the last classes so stay tuned for the more informative videos and uh, please subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel and uh, watch the earlier videos of engulfing theory and uh, now we are going with advanced so i will do one thing i will involve live chart markings in this class so that you will have an exact idea how engulfing are marked in the live chart with naked eyes before that i have some uh, suggestions for you that uh, what happens in a real world this going to be some type of spiritual kind of uh, beliefs but uh, no matter uh, this is going to be a scientific proven theory and uh, with this i will start with some spiritual things that is one thing like this if you want to understand market assume the candles as humans for example maybe your friend a group of friend maybe your friends or group of friends with this example i want to show you uh, exactly what i mean to say is that you are an individual in the market okay and uh, what you have to do in the market you have to uh, make a linkage between all the individuals all the individuals thinking prospects okay these individuals include gambler speculator bankers retailers investors speculators and many other kind of investors who invest in the market directly or indirectly and you are one of them but you have to do one thing you have to linkage you have to make the linkage in between these groups so that you can understand what these groups want to do with the market whether they will trend in buy direction or whether they will go in a sell direction for obtaining the linkage the process of obtaining the linkage we call it a technical prospect okay we call it a technical prospect but the main thing is only here that you are making a linkage between all the persons or all the individuals in the market what their thinking prospects are whether they want to make the market uh, move in a buy direction or sell direction or let it be in a uh, what we call a sideway to grab the liquidity so this is the concept and this technical this technical aspect we call it a uh what there are two types of uh, one is fundamental second one is technical prospect and third one sentimental prospect so this is technical and we call it with a engulfing theory we do it with engulfing theory engulfing theory the most advanced and easiest form of theory using forex okay so maybe uh this is going to be an easier topic for you to understand if you wanted to understand the market you need to understand it in a terms of vibrations and frequencies of other individuals in the market what they want to, to do with the market because they have the capital and you are here with a, a small amount of capital but you want to go in the same direction as they want to go in the direction you need to align with the direction with the direction the big players are doing in the market okay so this is going to be a spiritual kind of mentality but as per the quantum theories nikola tesla these things works these are scientifically proven things you can also uh, relate it with you that everyone in the market 90% people fail and only 10% people pass and within the 10% only 1% are the people group of people who make money in the market 
why not you why it happens when you enter the market in a sell market goes in a buy when you go for a buy market reverses in the sell direction why this kind of things happens with you not with you with the 90% of the people investing in the forex industry so even with a 90 percentage 90 to 95 percentage of accuracy percentage accuracy setups you will lose you will lose with a 95 percent accuracy system setups but even with a 33 percent of accuracy system and you are good at these kind of spiritual things and risk management and you understand what market wanted to do in a particular time period because market is run by a number of individuals working together but they do not uh, disclose what they want as a trader let it be you are a trader a and all other b c d e all are doing their on setups all are working on the on setups maybe chances these guys will win and you lose why this will happen because the thinking ability of all the individuals these individuals are matching the idea with which they see the nicked chart is different from the idea with which you are looking the chart if this difference occurs these guys one you lose simple for matching this kind of vibrations you need to be spiritual aware what others can do setups are simple you can easily see a uh, bullish flag a bearish flag cup and handle all these shits you can easily uh, look in the charts you can manage you can mark in the charts like this you marked a m5 candlesticks and opened and it ranges like this and this broke you can go for a buy but why the 10 percent people sell here because the thinking capacity of all the 10 percent individuals they know and their vibration and frequencies match with each other this happens and the vibration of frequencies can be related with engulfing theory you need to be practically coherent that you are here to make money in the market not to lose in the market so implement a proper setup and do the things you want to do in the market okay doing the market so let's start with the uh, main topic i have a little bit <coughs> different with the topic now i am going to start with the main topic various engulfing setups firstly i will uh, design or draw it on my screen after that i will show it on the live chart so that it could be easier for you to mark on your charts and you can become a pro uh, that's my total practice and that's my total try that i gonna make you a good zone marker in this series so let's start for example the first one is engulfing simple buy and simple engulfing sell the second one is engulfing buy fail third one is engulfing sell fail so these are the types you need to study with me you need to practice it on the live chart please make the notes take the screenshots and uh, do the practice on live chart because this is not going to be that much easy but you are thinking it's not like abcd that you will do and you will um, mark properly in the market okay so please practice and then try to mark it on the live chart and uh, this topic i have already covered in the last videos but still i will do it here and after that i will mark both this okay for example let it be an engulfing buy so engulfing buy is like this or one second this is a red candle i have already covered the importance of wicks body please watch the earlier video for your okay this is an engulfing buy i have covered 
the wick, the body importance. And this is a simple angle thing by. Simple angle thing by. And this is the zone I have marked. This is the zone I have marked. Similarly, a blue candle, a buyer's candle that has been eaten by seller's candle here, like this. And I mark the zone. This is simple engulfing cell. Simple. And what is engulfing by fail? When this zone is marked and one guy over here, this closes below the zone again. This is an engulfing by fail area because this zone, the line of this zone is broken by a seller's candle. Even it can be a blue candle also, it doesn't matter at all. But the importance is the candle which is closing below the zone should close its body, not its wick. Wick is not important, body is important to be closed below the zone this line this guy this line is important and this body this body closing important okay so this is engulfing by fail which means buyers of engulfing by are eaten by engulfing cell okay the next one is engulfing cell and when engulfing cell is broken by a candle after closing outside the zone like this this is the area this guy over here and this candle closed above the zone this becomes sell fail which means now sellers has been turned into buyers and in case of engulfing buy fail it means the buyers are turned into sellers clear so this is main Please practice it again and again. This is very important topic. This will help you throughout the journey. Okay. Now I will do one thing. I will mark uh, it on uh, the live chart. Okay. This is our live chart. Now I am doing one thing. I am. This is a weekly candlesticks pattern. This is an engulfing cell here. We call it a simple engulfing cell. Clear? This is simple engulfing cell. Okay. Uh, one more thing. I will uh, do two or three markings of engulfing cell. This is also a simple engulfing cell. Okay. And uh, please do not take it uh, as a zone. This is only an example of engulfing by engulfing cell. I am marking right now. Don't consider it as the area where you need to mark the zones. This is not a particular area where you are supposed to mark okay this is for illustration purpose only uh, now for buy this is a bias area okay for, and uh, this is also bias area Engulf, simple engulfing buy only like this so these are the uh, methods these are the simple engulfing cell okay so hope you uh, understand this now uh, Please, and one more thing in the first video I have covered that uh, how many types of engulfing cells are there two or three types have been discussed please watch and mark it on the live chart okay for example now uh, one more thing like this this is an engulfing cell here but this one candle this one guy the blue guy is being eaten by two consecutive red candles over here these are engulfing this is engulfing cell but Two red candles are engulfed. Okay, so this is an engulfing cell, and uh, now in this case also, this coil also three candles needed to engulf one blue candle. Okay, now in case of biofill, okay, biofill. This is a biofill. This is a bi engulfing bi. This is engulfing by one red candle is engulfed by a blue bias candle and the bias candle is engulfed by three candles red candles consecutively and broken the zone. The lower part of this area is broken by the red candle over here. So this is an engulfing by fill proper example. Now I am planning for a cell fill area. Okay. For example, this is an engulfing cell fill area. 
this is a cell fail area one blue candle engulfed by three consecutive red candles this makes a engulfing cell and continuously three to four candles are engulfed by uh, blue candles are engulfed uh, engulfing the red candles means one blue candle here three candles one to three red candles engulf the blue candle and one okay sorry here and uh, the sir one red candle is engulfed by three continuous blue candles so this is a cell fail area which means sellers converted into buy and you can see how market reacted to this from this area uh, particularly 1751 it ran to 1072 so this is uh, basic okay don't try to um, go to the live market directly first you precise it and then try to mark it on the live chart so <clears throat> and uh, one more example we can get here also this is a cell fail one blue candle like this is like a doji by doji which is engulfed by a red candle did that uh, formed a engulfing cell and the blue candle with a full pressure okay uh, blue candle with a full pressure break the area and uh, you can see how price reacted after um, breaking the zone it touched the lower part here and flied and on around 300 to uh, sorry 1000 pips it flied okay so this is the proper structure with you, which you we need to mark in the market and practice it if you are having any queries let me know in the comment section after the this series i will come with part four in which part four i will try to help you in marking uh in the live market properly how to precise i will tell you and we will continuously uh bring more and more topics to make you a proper trader out there it will take some time but yes with a uh, proper guidance you can do the markings and we will not lose regularly in the market so let's uh, pack it up and uh, this is the weekly structure you can take the screenshots and mark it on the this is a live account okay this is my live account so you can do it on your trading view premium or you can do it on um, only trading view even you can mark it on your uh, any other account you just need to know the basics of engulfing okay thank you have a nice day and uh, if you are new please subscribe to the channel and your queries let me know in the comment section thank you everyone good morning welcome back to the forex and youtube channel and uh, for your kind information i will recall something we have started a series called engulfing theory series and we have covered two or three basic lectures of engulfing theory now in this video we are adding some advanced sets to the basics we have uh, covered and uh, let it make more spicier than the elder ones so basically in this video i will uh, try to cover how to mark zones particularly from the uh, daily time frame weekly time frame to m15 time frame to get a more precise entry level uh, for buy or a sell with proper stop loss and uh, target profit areas and <clears throat> within that problem uh, of course that traders don't know where to put their target profit and in case of SLs, they wait for 100 to 200 pips and uh, i have uh, managed this area that my SL should be a bare minimum and my tp should be bare maximum so now completing this topic i will try to teach you how to mark zones particularly in coming uh, topics i will tell you about the hidden truths of take profit and SLs. Now, in the last classes, I have covered you engulfing candlesticks. And in the engulfing candlesticks, I have covered various types of candlesticks, areas of marking, candlesticks, and some psychological facts about trading. these are important but this is the most important because this plays a very vital role in making you a professional or a pro trader what you call 
and uh, this will help you in building your development and uh, psychological traits are very important in case you mark all the zones properly but you are not able to take your target profits or you are not willing to place your sl at a particular level so this is very bad this won't make you a profitable trader even with a 95% of winning accuracy signals you will lose immediately in the market after one sl so don't be a fool to show that you are cool in the market and uh, start with this quote let's recall what we have done so we have done that there is an engulfing cell and uh, this is the zone we have marked in our earlier classes and uh, this is a cell zone okay and after that what happens a bias candle closes above the zone this makes it a cell fail area cell fail area this means now the sellers are not able to push the market to downside and it will give you a buy direction buy setup and it will immediately cover its sellers into buyers similarly a red candle engulfed by bias candle here and this is a zone and what happened a seller's candle this guy over here broke the area and turned the specifically bias area into seller's area which made it a buy fail area which means it is a sell setup now okay coming to the topic again we have completed this in our earlier classes but now this is more important to analyze in the market now okay in the live charts i will do one thing i will precise an area and do the back testing before your eyes to let you know how it works properly so even before that i need to tell you one thing you need a very particular skill to trade forex because this is a very volatile market even you can call it worldwide market global market a 7 trillion dollars market but what is the more important thing which will play a important role here is that you need a particular area a patienceful area where you will wait for your tp sl or which you will mark um hours before the market goes there maybe it could be a little bit technical for you to uh, understand now but after marking the zones you will get an idea how to mark the zones in the live chat and you will immediately understand what i want to teach moving to the charts directly this is our trading view platform okay i am opening weekly chart okay in the weekly chart you can see i am placing a trend line which means that this is a sellers area the market is going in a sell trend and this is a bias area which means buyers are in a bullish trend okay so this is common you may have uh, watched it earlier on earlier youtube channels but this one is very different from the earlier so now what i'm trying to teach you is that i am doing a back testing now let's this this is an area i am going to back test let's uh one i want to okay i am going to back test before your eyes and uh, now i am placing my replay button here and i erased all the area uh ahead of this uh, ahead of this line <coughs> now i am marking a sellers area here which means i am going to mark a cell engulfing cell like this this is an engulfing cell over here which means this is an area where happy sellers want to sell or invest money for selling this is a sellers perspective area 
Now what? This is a weekly sell, which means big players in the market, banks in the market wants to give a sell position to give in a sell to go in a sell area. Okay, to go in a sell direction is basically. Now what? I am moving to daily time frame. In daily time frame, we will see this is an area like this. And I am placing a sell over here. This is an engulfing sell in daily time frame, which means the retail banks big players medium players they want to go in a sell direction in daily time frame which means if the candle touches the area if it uh, the market grasps the quantity of orders from the particular area the market will try to go in down push okay now what i am going to h4 area you can see this is properly fresh area I am marking right now. Now I took this area which is fresh. This is fresh and this comes with practice. Don't try to do this in your life chart immediately after this class. You will get literally. Don't try to mark this area immediately. Okay. Don't go for a live chart analysis on your tabs or laptops. Now what? I am going to H1 direction. In H1, what I saw, this is the area under weekly, daily and H4 time frame. This is the particular area where every trader ranging from big time players, speculators, traders, gamblers, uh, big banks, medium banks, up now small banks and now retail traders. This is an area where everyone wants to go in a sell. This is the particular area in H1. Now I am moving in M15 directly. Why? Because I wanted to take all the smaller traders also in this move. Okay, I'm not going with only <laughs> banks. Yeah, I will follow the buy, uh, bank's direction. But yes, I will keep in mind my account size. This is the mistake which every trader in their uh, younger ages do. They took so many lots so that they can cover their losses in a single trade but never happens it will wash your account immediately and you will try to worship or uh, take the name of god that why the god why this happens to me this is not god's fault this is our fault god will give you a patience criteria that you can patience you can wait for the market entries god can build a good trader in you, yourself okay in spiritual things if you try to worship god and uh, you ask something from the god like prophets it doesn't come you can ask god to give you high patience where you can wait for your perfect entries god helps them who help themselves okay now what this is an m15 area and in case you are not able to give uh, make more patience do meditation meditation is the most important weapon which mainly big players or big traders use for their journey now i have marked this m15 area which is uh, 1951 to 1953 and now i am deleting the daily time frame zone now this is the zone i have marked completely this is an area where market will do one thing market will come like this touches the will touch this area and will fall from this like this okay this will happen here and what you have to grasp here what you have to grab you have to grab 60 to 70 pips even if you are holding you can hold till 100 pips 150 pips depending on the money management you are following because money management is the most important and vital weapon to save your account to grow your account to make you profitable to give you a respect in the market if you don't follow the money management you will get and you will get out of the market immediately so don't try to be over smart with the zones zones are here to give you a possibility that market will go in a buy or a sell from the zone 
but if you will try to become over smart you will put hundreds of lots in a single zone you will wrecked out of the market even you can complain anyone that you have did something mistake you can't complain so keep your money management strong and no trader in this world will give you 100% winning signals keep this in your mind if you are having this type of mentality that uh, you can get 100% accuracy win rate or even uh, you will get 100% return on an account this is not possible if you are having this kind of mindset please stay away from the market uh, yeah you can accept some percentage return 10 20 30 40% 40%, depending on the skills but if you are willing to flip your accounts and you are a younger trader then don't do this mistake this is for you to trap i have an uh, example you may have faced a strong thing that you opened an m1 chart this happens to every new trader you opened m1 chart and looked at the charts at ussn and the chart is going up in m1 and you placed a buy immediately you placed a buy and the market flaw fall from the area 60 to 70 pips down and you you say broker did something with me broker knows where i put my orders yes broker knows your orders where you have put but he can't manipulate the market only for you because of the 90% traders did the same the 10% of the traders or the direction changers changed the market immediately and if you place the buy order but the zone was for sell you will get no way of getting out of the losses now you are in a wrong direction you are trapped and you can't get out of the market without giving the market the penalty for your losses you are paying a penalty for your wrong direction your immediate impulsive buy or sell orders market charges you with washing your account so be careful don't be the impatient and try to check the charts after you make the entries now coming to the point what i am doing the market i have marked is 1951 1952 the market is currently at 1912 now i am doing one thing i am back testing it for you now see will market touch my zone and fall from it or will market break my zone it can happen it can break my zone but still look at the charts and learn what i have did note it down don't try to do this in live market live market means not like a baseball ground that you have going to you you went there to uh, <clears throat> play a football or a basketball there so be a smart guy and uh, practice it on a demo account paper trading so you will not get losses you can blame anyone for your losses you will occur if this kind of shifts you do okay so i am playing the chart now look at the chart immediately 1903 1902 1900 uh, 1895 will touch yeah now it reversed because there is buy direction below those areas okay now market is going up 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 will market touch the zone yes market will touch but i want to teach you what will happen if market touches the zone i have marked i have marked it 12 to 13 days earlier now wait i am changing it to m5 area and because i am waiting for this red area to touch this kind this 951 area to touch it now again i started the charts i am waiting for the 951 area to touch and go market is here market is going down 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 up 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 market is doing a crazy dance it will play with your patience it will not try to give you money but you want to grab the money out of the broker's pocket but broker is not willing to give you the money let's wait market touch the my area market touch the area for the first time it touched here and it gave 173 pips and what i have taught you to grab 60 to 70 pips from the market don't try to uh, greed yourself with 100 to 200 pips you will 
get lose many times because market can potentially reverse after 60 to 80 pips also if the zone is weak it will hit your pe or if you are not a smart guy it will hit your sell and you will get your worst account account no worst account is a case when you will not place any kind of sl you try to become a hero in the market and market will show you imitate grave ground that is for you if you are not using sl yeah you can take um, without sl you can take interest without sl but when when you will become a pro trader even i place sls first i place my sls then i place my tps i know market will hit if i am in the wrong direction now what i have teach you 9051 area is the area i have marked 12 days before and this is a real entry which i had made okay i am not try to prove myself here but yes you can do it you know our charts if you are a smart guy don't try to comment something negative in the comment section go and try to check it you know on charts if it works on any day let me know if you are having any type of query you can ask in the comment section that what kind of um, area was it how to mark some another areas there are hundred of things in this market okay even this entry which was placed here after taking confirmation it was taken okay the confirmations the m1 confirmation m5 confirmation m15 confirmation that are needed to take an entry in the market so don't try to do this in live market immediately because it may cause an immediate losing effect on your account so try to learn first give three to four months to the charts after giving three to four months to the chart you will face some kind of energy into yourself okay and the energy once it will active in your body the energy will never let you lose your account and even if you are if you are managing five percent on your account every single month you are already a pro trader don't try to push yourself with 40 to 50 percent of return because this kind of mistake i have already did in my time and i don't want you guys to do the same mistake again and again these things will not be taught in the live classes or anything these things are needed to be learned by the trader itself because this kind of tradings make you emotions less and you need to be an emotionless if you are having emotions if you are having emotion with the money you have invested then buddy don't try to enter the market if you are not having emotions you will win and if you will win that is the main thing you want so subscribe to this channel if you are new and uh, if you are having any type of queries in your mind, let me know in the comment section. Any type of query. This is not about Ingolfin theory. This is about whatever query you are having in your mind about Forex journey. Let me know in the comment section and don't ask me to show me my real account. I am not here to prove myself. I am here to teach you what you want to learn. So don't be the over smart guy to place hatredness comment in the comment section because it won't work. I am here to give you free knowledge. I am not charging you any money. Okay. So have a nice day. Practice in your live charts. And let me know in the comment section if I have any type of queries in your mind. And best of luck, buddies. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So welcome back to the Forex Fund YouTube channel. And today's video, video in this video, we will cover the high liquidity zones ka topic. What are high liquidity zones? Kya hote hai? Aur, uh, इसको हम कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं ट्रेडिंग में बेसिकली ये जो है इंगल्फिंग का टॉपिक है जो हम इंगल्फिंग कैंडलस्टिक्स को यूज करते हैं हमारे मतलब थ्योरी के अंदर तो इसी में हम हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन्स को हम प्रेफर देंगे आज के इस टॉपिक में कि हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन्स एग्जैक्टली क्या होते हैं और हम उसको कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो कमिंग टू द पॉइंट पहले मैं थोड़ा सा थ्योरी कराऊंगा आप लोगों को उसके बाद मैं आपको थोड़ा सा प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच दिखाऊंगा लाइव ट्रेडिंग चार्ट्स पे ताकि आपकी जो है प्रैक्टिस अच्छे से हो सके और साथ ही साथ जो कुछ डिफरेंट टाइप से टॉपिक्स होते हैं जैसे कि इसको लाइव अकाउंट में स्मॉल एक्सेल के साथ कैसे यूज करना फिर बड़े टाइम फ्रेम से छोटे टाइम फ्रेम में कैसे कन्वर्ट करना तो देखो कुछ कुछ चीजें ऐसी होती है जो आपको खुद भी प्रैक्टिस करनी है उन चीजों को मैं थोड़ा आ, मतलब स्लो पेस में कराऊंगा ताकि एक ही चीज सीखो लेकिन अच्छे से सीखो ठीक है तो ज्यादा घबराने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है अभी के टाइम पे आपको प्रैक्टिस करनी है 
और प्रैक्टिस के साथ साथ आपको थोड़ा सा अपने आप पे डिपेंडेंसी दिखानी है कि कैसे हम इस हाइब्रिड को समझें और लाइव ट्रेडिंग की दूर की बात है ये दो तीन महीने का टाइम लगेगा आपको सीखना समझना उसको फिर उसको लाइव ट्रेडिंग चार्ट्स पे अप्लाई करना तो बहुत सारी चीज़ें जो आपको यूज़ करनी पड़ेंगी तो अभी मैं स्टार्ट कर रहा हूँ हाई लिक्विड जोन्स आपके साथ मैं रेडी हूँ विथ पेन एंड पेंसिल एंड नाउ आई एम मूविंग टू द लाइव चार्ट एंड फर्स्टली आई विल कवर द थियोरिटिकल पोर्सन ठीक है तो जो भी है आप जो भी न्यू मेम्बर्स हैं तो इसकी मैं रिकॉर्डिंग आपको YouTube पे भी डाल दूंगा जो भी आप लोग हैं देख रहे हो तो आप लाइफ को तो इन्जॉय करो ही लेकिन इन केस आपको कुछ समझ ना आए तो आप जो है YouTube पे भी जाके एक दो दिन में इसको देख सकते हो ठीक है सो so, हम स्टार्ट करते हैं अब इस चीज़ को कि कैसे हमें इसको करना है सबसे पहले मैं टॉपिक यहाँ पे हाईलाइट कर देता हूँ दैट टॉपिक नेम इज हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन हाई लिक्विडी जोन्स तो ये जो हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन्स है ये हमारे आते हैं इंगल्फिंग थ्योरी के अंदर इंगल्फिंग कैंडलस्टिक्स थ्योरी देखो इसके बहुत सारे इस थ्योरी के अंदर बहुत सारी चीजें हैं ठीक है आ, कोई लोग जो है ब्रेकआउट पे ट्रेड करते हैं ओके कोई लोग ट्रेंड लाइन पे ट्रेड करते हैं ट्रेंड लाइन लगा के कोई रिवर्सल पे ट्रेड करता है और कोई कंटिन्यूएशन पर ट्रेड करता है ठीक है कंटिन्यूएशन तो देखो सबका अपना अपना तरीका है ट्रेड करने का तो आप किसी को ये नहीं कह सकते कि जो बंदा कंटिन्यूएशन पर ट्रेड कर रहा है तो वो किसी को रिवर्सल के सिग्नल्स दे या फिर रिवर्सल वाला कंटिन्यूएशन पे काम करने लग जाए आप किसी एक को यूज़ करो मेरा काम है यहाँ पर आपको सारे मैथड से आपको समझा देना लाइव अकाउंट पर जाने से पहले आप उसको डेमो प्रैक्टिस कर लो कितनी एंट्रीज मिलती है क्या मिलती है वो भी मैं बता देता हूँ कि हाँ भाई पंद्रह बीस एंट्रीज मिलेंगी प्रिसाइज में आपको एच फोर में तो उसको को पकड़ना है कि नहीं पकड़ना है ये आप पे डिपेंड करता है ठीक है तो मेन जो हमारा कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी है वो इम्पॉर्टेंट है उसके बाद लाइव डेमो फंडेड अकाउंट्स सारी चीज़ें आप कर सकते हो मनी मैनेजमेंट एक इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है इसमें बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट आपको ट्रेडिंग नहीं आती लेकिन अगर आप मनी मैनेज करते हो तो आप गैम्बलिंग से भी पैसा कमा सकते हो क्लियर कि दस मिनट लॉट लूंगा दस बार ट्रेड लूंगा उसका दो भी तो सही होंगे और बाकी में जो मैं एस एल वो ऐसे स्मॉल एस एल ठीक है इतने स्मॉल एसल खाऊंगा कि उससे मेरा एक ट्रेड में लॉस कवर हो जाए फाइव लॉसेस वन विन आप ऐसा भी सोच के अगर ट्रेड करोगे तो आपको स्ट्रेटेजी की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी आप गैमिली के पैसा कमा सकते हो लेकिन हमें वो चीज रियलिटी में पॉसिबल नहीं होती है ये चीजें समझने के लिए अच्छी है कि हाँ हमें क्या करना है हम यहाँ से कर सकते हैं लेकिन जब आप प्रैक्टिकली सो करोगे तो डिफरेंस है क्लियर गाइस सो थम्स अप एंड पहले तो जो भी लोग YouTube पे देख रहे हैं इसको तो आप लोगों से एक रिक्वेस्ट है कि आप इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लो और जो पुरानी वीडियोस पड़ी हुई YouTube पे उसको देखो प्रॉपर वेबिनार्स आते हैं मैं सारे वेबिनार्स तो नहीं डाल पाता लेकिन जो भी वेबिनार है वो आपको बहुत ही मतलब क्रूशियल होगा आपके लिए मतलब आप इम्पोर्टेंट वक्त उसको बहुत कंसिडर कर सकते हो ठीक है और एक मिनट भी ऐसा नहीं होगा प्रैक्टिकल जो हम पढ़ा रहे हैं या फिर जो आप पढ़ रहे हो उसमें आपको एक मिनट भी बोरियत महसूस नहीं होगी अगर आप बोरियत हो भी रहे हो तो ट्रेडिंग में इंटरेस्ट है तो आप बच जाओगे कोई दिक्कत नहीं है इसमें तो आपको एक मिनट भी वेस्ट नहीं करूंगा मैं हर मिनट कुछ ना कुछ एक ऐसा एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करूंगा जिसमें आपको मतलब आपकी मतलब जो है ना ट्रेडिंग करियर थोड़ा बूस्ट हो जाए इन केस अगर आप प्रोफेशनल हो आप बहुत दिन से ट्रेड कर रहे हो ये यू कैन शिफ्ट टू इंगल्फिंग थ्योरी ठीक है तो चलिए हम मूव करते हैं इंगल्फिंग थ्योरी होता क्या है इंगल्फिंग थ्योरी अगर आप ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं इससे पहले देखो दो चीज़ें हैं कि कुछ इंगल्फिंग्स क्या क्या होती है टाइप वन टाइप टू ये मैंने कवर कर दिया आपको ठीक है तो ये मैंने कवर कर रखा है ऑलरेडी तो इसको आप पुराना एक सीरीज पढ़ा हुआ है एक 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 घंटे के साथ वीडियो है वो आप उसमें देख लो टाइप वन टाइप टू उसमें इंगल मैं टॉपिक लिख देता हूँ यहाँ पे ये टॉपिक्स क्या क्या उसमें मैंने कवर करे हुए हैं टॉपिक्स है टाइप्स ऑफ इंगल्फिंग टाइप्स ऑफ इंगल्फिंग हिंदी में भी है इंग्लिश में भी अवेलेबल है हिंदी इंग्लिश बहुत अवेलेबल है हिंदी में है इंग्लिश में यूट्यूब चैनल पे ही पढ़ा हुआ ठीक है दूसरा है वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ इंगल पिंग वेरियस टाइप्स ठीक है तीसरा पढ़ा हुआ है वॉल्यूम प्राइस थ्योरी इसमें मैंने थोड़ा टाइम सेशंस के बारे में बताया है वॉल्यूम प्राइस थ्योरी में इसमें आपको और कंप्लीट हो जाएगा क्लियर गाइज इसमें आपको और भी अच्छा लगेगा इसको सीखने में ठीक है तो लेट्स मूव हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन क्या होता है कि कैसे हम एंट्री ले एक बार फिर से हाई लिक्विडिटी देखो अगर बैट लेट के पढ़ रहे हो ना तो 
बंद कर दो वीडियो अगर आप बैठ लेट के ये चीज़ कर रहे हो तो थोड़ा सा कंसनट्रेटेड होकर देखो कहीं ना कहीं ये लाइफ में आपको बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करने वाला है अगर सीखते हो इंटरेस्ट के साथ तो मतलब एक एक एंट्री आपके जो है मतलब मंथली सैलरी निकाल सकते हैं अगर आप एक एवरेजली काम कर रहे हो ठीक है तो बैठ लेट के आलस के साथ काम मत करो कुछ एनर्जेटिक करो ठीक है एनर्जी के साथ काम करो तो कुछ चीज़ें ऐसे भी हैं जो आपको अभी काम ना दे लेकिन हाँ कल काम जरूर देंगे क्लियर गाइज सो लेट्स वेलकम तो सबसे पहले हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन का मतलब लिख देता हूँ कि एन एरिया ठीक है एन एरिया वेयर बायर्स एंड सेलर्स आर हाईली एक्टिव हाईली एक्टिव यहां पे बायर्स भी होता है अगर हाई एच एल जी बाय का बना हुआ है तो आपका ये सॉलिड बाय का एरिया सॉलिड बाय एरिया सॉलिड बाय एरिया ठीक है गाइज अगर ये आपका एच एल जी पड़ा हुआ है सेल का तो ये सॉलिड सेल एरिया ये भी फेल होता है कभी कभी ऐसा बात नहीं नहीं होता लेकिन फेल होके भी कुछ वो इंगल्फिंग में एक अलग तरीके का रूप ले लेता है जब हाई इम्यूनिटी फेल होता है तो आप देखोगे या तो ये तो नीचे जाएगी अगर सेल है तो सेल में नीचे जाएगा लेकिन अगर वो फेल होता है तो कहीं ना कहीं वो इतना पावरफुल बाय का एरिया बन जाता है सेल का एरिया कि मतलब लोग वहाँ पे ट्रिपल लॉट फोर लॉट फुल मार्जिन में ट्रेड लेते हैं अभी आपको वो नहीं करना अभी आप सीख रहे हो डेमो सीख रहे हो क्लियर गाइज सो वेलकम तो हम पहले एस ओ करेंगे हमारा एस ठीक है गाइज एस में हम पहले पहले हम यहाँ पे पढ़ेंगे बायर्स एस देखो बायर्स एस क्या होता है ना यहाँ पे आपको बायर्स मिलेंगे बहुत ठीक है लेकिन उसके पहले आपको क्या करना है उसको समझो आप पहले है क्या ये ठीक है बायर्स एस में देखो क्या है सबसे पहले बायर्स कि एक इंगल्फिंग सेल है पहले मैं थ्योरी कराऊंगा फिर उसको मैं आपको प्रैक्टिकली आपको उस पर कराऊंगा चार्ट्स पे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पहले बना हुआ आपके पास एक इंगल्फिंग सेल ठीक है ये यहां तक ले आते हैं ये आपका जोन बन गया तो ये इंगल्फिंग सेल है ये जो आपको मतलब जो है ना पुरानी वीडियो में देखना पड़ेगा कि इंगल्फिंग सेल इंगल्फिंग बाय का एरिया कैसे मार्क करते हैं उसके लिए आपको पुरानी वीडियो देखनी पड़ेगी इट्स कंपलसरी अगर आप डायरेक्ट ये देख रहे हो समझो लेकिन फिर से आपको ये देखना पड़ेगा ठीक है ऐसा ही है और फिर इसके बाद क्या हुआ यहाँ पे एक रेड कैंडल फिर से बनी ऐसे अब ये सेल का एरिया था तो अब नॉर्मल सबको पता है बच्चे को पता है कि सेल का एरिया है तो यहाँ से मार्केट सेल में जाएगी लेकिन यहाँ पे पता नहीं बायस एक्टिवेट हो गए और इसने ऐसे ब्रेक कर दिया इस एरिया को एरिया ब्रेक कर देगा क्या मतलब है कि सेल का जोन बना हुआ था तो सेल में बायस एक्टिव हो गए ऐसे और जोन को ब्रेक करने का मतलब है जो ये जोन आपको दिख रहा है ये वाला ये जो लाइन है आपकी ना ये लाइन इसको ब्रेक करता हुआ मार्केट यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग बाय बना दिया ये देखो पहले सेल था फिर इसको पहले ये सेल बना हुआ था फिर मार्केट यहाँ पे बाय बनाया ब्रेक करता हुआ इसी जोन को ब्रेक करता हुआ अब देखो फिर से मार्केट ने इसको यहाँ पे एक ऐसे सेल बनाया क्लियर और यहाँ पे इसको ऐसे बाय बना दिया देखो क्या मतलब है इसका सेल को फेल करते हुए दो इंगल्फिंग बाय बने मतलब इंगल्फिंग सेल था यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग सेल था यहाँ पे इस साइड इस साइड वाले और यहाँ पे जो है ना दो इंगल्फिंग बाय बन गए पहला इंगल्फिंग बाय दूसरा इंगल्फिंग बाय ठीक तो इसका मतलब ये एक हमारा एच एल जी फोर बाय है एच एल जी फोर बाय क्लियर कमेंट सेक्शन में सब लोग डाल दो कि अगर ये क्लियर है तो मैं आगे क्लियर करता हूँ ठीक है ओके 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 तो इसके देखो इसमें आपको कुछ कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें याद रखनी है जो क्या याद रखना है ना वो मैं बताता हूँ आपको कि जब भी ऐसा बनता है पहले तो इंगल्फिंग सेल को अपने मार्क करना है सबसे पहला सबसे पहला काम है आपको इंगल्फिंग सेल को यहाँ पे मार्क कर लेना है फिर उसके जोन्स बना लेना है जोन्स बना लिए आपने 
अब हम देखना है कि इस जोन को ब्रेक करता हुआ अपर साइड में एक इंगल्फिंग बाय बना है ऐसा ठीक है लेकिन इसमें कंडीशन ये है कि जो इंगल्फिंग बाय बने वो एटलीस्ट इन दोनों कैंडल्स की विक को मतलब जो है ना ये विक जो है इसकी एटलीस्ट मिनिमम इस जोन को टच करे जो जोन बनाया है ना इस जोन को ब्रेक करने से पहले मतलब इसकी विक्स टच कर रही है उस जोन को ठीक है तो मैं समझाता हूं इसको ये ऐसे आपका जोन है ठीक है ये मान लो आपका यहाँ पे बन गया पहला ऐसे नॉर्मली में बना रहा हूं ठीक है ये आपका इंगल्फिंग सेल है अब मार्केट नीचे गई ऊपर जा रही है यहां पर भी बहुत देर खेली यहाँ पे ऐसे साइड में बनाया उसके बाद यहाँ पे ब्रेक किया तो यहाँ पे एक रेड कैंडल बनाई पहले फिर एक ब्लू कैंडल बना के ब्रेक किया ठीक है तो ये आपका ये तो चलो सॉलिड है अब देखो दूसरे केस में क्या क्या ना ऐसे बनाया ठीक है ऐसा इंगल्फिंग मतलब इसका क्राइटेरिया देख लो दो इंगल्फिंग बाय होनी चाहिए इंगल्फिंग बाय का एरिया बनाने के लिए इंगल्फिंग सेल को जो ब्रेक कर रही है उसके बाद दो इंगल्फिंग बाय होनी चाहिए तो ये बनाया तो क्या ये सही है ये इंगल्फिंग सेल सही है इसका जोन हमने मार्क कर लिया यहाँ पे मान लो यही यहीं तक का फिर इसको इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया इंगल्फिंग बाय फर्स्ट इसको ब्रेक किया इसने ठीक है इस जोन को टच कर रहा है जोन के अंदर से बन रहा है क्या ये इंगल्फिंग थर्ड जो हमने बना सेकेंड इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया सही है ये सही नहीं है क्यों क्योंकि एटलीस्ट इसका जो है ना ये एरिया ऐसे जोन से टच हो मिनिमम बॉडी अगर हो तो बहुत अच्छी बात है लेकिन अगर विक टच नहीं करी तो कहीं ना कहीं गलत बात है फिर हम उसको कंसीडर नहीं करेंगे जोन में ठीक ये एसओपी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है चलो अब हम थोड़ा सा प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल जाएंगे प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल पकड़ते हैं लाइव चार्ट में ठीक है पाए का यह हम आ गए बाय में ठीक है बाय में आते हैं तो ये ऑक्टा है हमारा ठीक है अब देखो इसमें कुछ जोन्स बने हुए हैं तो कोई बात नहीं हम यहाँ पे देखते हैं कहीं हमें मिल जाए सेल फिल करता हुआ हमें तो बाय मिल जाए ठीक है मैं फाइंड कर रहा हूँ अभी आप लोगों के लिए इसको देखो ऐसा है ना मैंने खोज के नहीं रखा हुआ ठीक है आप लोग इस कमेंट में कुछ भी मत लिखो मैंने अभी तक वो खोज के नहीं रखा हुआ मैं आपको लाइव लिखी दिखाना चाहता हूँ कि हाँ भाई लाइव में ऐसा होता है कि नहीं होता ठीक है सो डोंट कमेंट पर्सनली खोज रहा हूँ मिल जाएगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं है देखो मिल गया क्लियर अब मैं यहाँ पे जो ना वो खोज दिखाता हूँ देखो ये एम फिफ्टीन का एरिया है तो ये यहां से मैं बनाता हूं ठीक है देखो क्लियरली यहाँ पे हम लाइन लगा रहे हैं पहला इंगल्फिंग सेल वेट चलो पहले मैं लाइन लगा लेता हूँ देखो ये इंगल्फिंग सेल है यहाँ पे जो मैं इसकी स्क्रीन शॉट लेके दिखाता हूँ आपको ठीक है मुनी देखना मेरा देखो यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग सेल बन रहा है पहला ये दूसरा इंगल्फिंग बाय बन रहा है यहाँ पे इस एरिया में ठीक और जो तीसरा है ना वो देखो यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग बाय बन रहा है ऐसा चाहिए हमें प्रॉपर कि पहले इंगल्फिंग सेल बनाया फर्स्ट में फिर इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया ठीक है पहले इंगल्फिंग सेल बनाया फिर इंगल्फिंग इस जोन को ब्रेक करता हुआ इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया टू और तीसरा है कि इंगल्फिंग बाय तीसरा ठीक है थर्ड तो ये हमारा ठीक ठाक बन गया कि जोन को टच करने चाहिए ठीक है 
अब देखो यहां पर क्या कंडीशन है देखो ये ठीक एग्जाम्पल ठीक है लेकिन अगर ये बहुत अच्छा जोन होता मतलब है तो कम ये जो विक बन रही है ना ये टाइप टू इंगल्फिंग है रेड को दो इंगल्फिंग मिलकर इंगल्फ कर रही है लेकिन ये टाइप टू है ठीक है ये कैंडल पर टच करनी चाहिए जोन से कंडीशन अकॉर्डिंग टू जो हमने अभी कंडीशन पढ़ी एस ये कैंडल का विक भी जोन से टच करना चाहिए तब ये हमारा हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्यूरेट मतलब हाईलिक्यूरिटी जोन कहलाएगा ठीक है एंगल फीमेल होप यू फाइंड इट गुड कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो पूछो कोई क्वेश्चन किस टाइम फ्रेम देखो हर टाइम फ्रेम यूज कर सकते हो डेली वीकली एच फोर एच वन एम थर्टी एम फिफ्टीन एम फाइव एम वन अब इसका यूज कहा क्या करना है ना वो थोड़ा सा अलग एक सेशन करना पड़ेगा इतना इजी नहीं है कि एक सेशन में हम पूरा कंप्लीट कर ले नेक्स्ट सेशन आएगा उसमें आप देख लेना उसमें बताऊंगा कि हायर टाइम फ्रेम में पहले देख लो फिर लोअर टाइम फ्रेम में कहा देखना है फिर एम में देख के कहा एंट्री करनी है वो हमारा एक अलग केस होगा क्लियर आइज अब ठीक है विक को टच करने के बाद अगर तो, देखो विक को टच करने का मतलब मैं समझा ऐसा है ना मैंने यहाँ पे समझाया है आपको अभी आप थोड़ा ध्यान से देखो कि अगर एक जोन ऐसा बन रहा है सबसे पहले तो इंगल्फिंग सेल चाहिए हमें यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग सेल बना हमारा ठीक इस एरिया में फिर मार्केट ऐसे नीचे आई ठीक अब ऊपर जा रही है तो ऊपर जाते समय मान लो यहाँ पे साइडवे में आई तब ब्रेक करा इंगल्फिंग टू बनाया सेकेंड इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया ठीक और सेल अब बाय बनाया अब तीसरा तीसरा कड़ी है कि अब ये इंगल्फिंग बाय टू बनाने के बाद मार्केट नीचे आके फिर कोई कैंडल क्लोज ना करे कोई भी कैंडल जोन के नीचे क्लोज ना हो कंसिडर करना है वही एरिया बेस्ट एरिया है ठीक है बहुत आपको एच एल जैसे मिलेंगे कि पहले मार्केट ऐसे आई इसको ब्रोक किया इंगल्फिंग टू बाय बनाया उसके बाद नीचे आ गए जोन से तो इसका मतलब तो वो एक्टिव एरिया नहीं है ना इसी जोन के अंदर रहता है साइडवे बनाता और फिर यहाँ पे बनाता है इंगल्फिंग बाय थर्ड थर्ड इंगल्फिंग बाय तो ये हमारा बेस्ट एरिया है ठीक है फिर एक एग्जाम्पल ले लो ये हमारा इंगल्फिंग बाय देखो मैं आपके डबल डबल ट्रिपल पर बता रहा हूं ठीक है आप लोग थोड़ा चैट कम करो और इसमें फिर से फोकसली देखो ये हमारा एरिया है इंगल्फिंग सेल बनाया मार्केट नीचे आई ठीक अब ये ऊपर गई यहां पे खेली थोड़ा सा मार्केट इंगल्फिंग टू बाय बनाया इंगल्फिंग फर्स्ट बाय बी यू बाय वन इंगल्फिंग बाय फर्स्ट बनाया अब देखो क्या किया मार्केट ने कि मार्केट नीचे के क्लोज कर दी यहाँ पे फिर से कैंडल तो ये हमारा जोन इनवैलिड हो गया वही यहीं पे इनवैलिड हो गया वैलिड इंगल्फिंग होने के लिए मार्केट को यहां से यहीं पे अंदर रहता रहता मतलब वन बनाया फिर आया यहाँ पे अंदर यहीं पे टू बनाया तो ये हमारा परफेक्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट परफेक्ट इंगल्फिंग बाय चाहे इसके बाद में ऐसा क्यों ना जाए लेकिन ये हमारा परफेक्ट बना इसकी एक्यूरेसी अच्छी है ये आपको देखना है ठीक है अब देखो दूसरा केस क्या है ये बाय बना ठीक यहाँ पे हमने इंगल्फिंग सेल बना दिया अब मार्केट ऊपर चली गई ठीक बिना किसी बात के मतलब इंगल्फिंग कुछ नहीं बनाया ऊपर चली गई फिर नीचे आई फिर यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग बाय वन बनाया ये केस टू करा रहा हूँ मैं ठीक है गाइस केस टू केस वन मैं रिपीट नहीं कर रहा उसको आप वीडियो देख लेना यूट्यूब पर समझ नहीं आ रहा तो अब मैं केस टू बता रहा हूँ इंगल्फिंग बाय यहाँ सेल यहाँ बनाया और बिना कुछ इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया मार्केट ने ऐसे क्रॉस कर दिया इसको क्रॉस करने के बाद क्रॉस करने के बाद क्या किया जोन में आई और तब बनाया इंगल्फिंग बाय तो इसको हम फर्स्ट कंसीडर करेंगे फिर जोन में आई फिर यहाँ इंगल्फिंग टू बाय बनाया फिर ऊपर गई तो ये हम इंगल्फिंग टू कंसीडर करेंगे कि ऐसा नहीं है कि जोन को सेल को ब्रेक करते टाइम ही इंगल्फिंग ही बना के ब्रेक करें ऐसे भी ब्रेक करके नीचे आए उसी जोन के अंदर इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाए सेकेंड फिर इंगल्फिंग बाय सेकेंड ऐसे एच बना दे अब मैं केस थ्री करा रहा हूँ स्त्री में देखो क्या है कि जोन है यहां पे इंगल्फिंग सेल बनाया मार्केट ने इसको ब्रेक किया नीचे आया फिर इसको ब्रेक कर दिया यहां पे कैंडल क्लोज ही मतलब जो भी आप टाइम फ्रेम देख रहे हो उसकी कैंडल क्लोज हो गई ये जोन इन्हें वैलिड हो गया ये केस थ्री है ठीक कि पहले यहां पे इंगल्फिंग सेल बना फिर मार्केट ऊपर गई बिना इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाए फिर मार्केट नीचे आई जोन से नीचे ब्रेक कर दिया तो ये हमारे यहीं पर जोन इन्वेलिड हो गया ठीक केस थ्री केस फोर सॉरी सर समझ नहीं आ रहा है इस चीज को देखो कैसे समझ आएगा आप चैट कर लो या फिर पहले कंप्लीट कर लो अपनी सेंटेंस को आप क्या लिखना चाह रहे हो देखो 
या तो आप एक्टिवली इस चीज़ को समझो पहले ठीक है कि आप सीखना क्या चाह रहे हो एक बार में थोड़ी आ सकता है लोगों के आठ आठ साल लग जाते हैं इसको सीखने में आप सोच रहे हो एक वेबिनार में ये कंप्लीट हो जाए नॉट पॉसिबल ब्रो अगर आपको मतलब इसके बारे में थोड़ा पढ़ देखना तो पड़ेगा खुद से चार्ट में आपने कभी कैंडल देखी नहीं रंग सिंगल थिंग की ना आपने कोई पुराना वीडियो देखा है और आप अभी डायरेक्टली देख रहे हो उसमें तो कहीं ना कहीं थोड़ा सा चेंजेस तो आएंगे ना बाकी सभी लोगों को समझ आ रहा है तो क्यों आ रहा है और आपको क्यों नहीं आ रहा चेंजेस है भाई थोड़ा आप, अपने में भी कमी है ठीक है तो अगर हाँ अगर प्रॉब्लम आ रही है तो आप एक काम करो टेलीग्राम का मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक डाल दूंगा यूट्यूब पे और वहां पर हम आपको मिल भी जाएगा आप वहां से जाओ टेलीग्राम में वहां पर एग्जाम्पल्स बहुत पड़े होंगे आप उन एग्जाम्पल्स को देख लो सिंपल आपको वहाँ पे एजुकेशनल पर्पस के लिए तो ऐड किया गया है आप बोलो कि सिग्नल तो सीधा वहाँ पे तो मैं सिग्नल छोड़ दूंगा आपको मैं समझा रहा हूँ पढ़ा रहा हूँ तब भी आपको सिग्नल चाहिए तो मैं सिग्नल तो नहीं दे रहा हूँ आपको अभी मैं सिखा रहा हूँ जब आप सीखोगे तब हम आपको सिग्नल देंगे कि अगर गलती करते हो तो क्यों करते हो तब आपको पता चलेगा ना मैं आपको पैसे थोड़ी मांग रहा हूँ अभी आप देख रहे हो फ्री में देख रहे हो फ्री में समझ रहे हो तो आपको कम से कम यूटिलाइज तो करो उसको ठीक है तो ऐसे आप कुछ भी इेशनल कमेंट मत करो ठीक है आप मोटिवेटेड रखो मुझे भी खुद भी मोटिवेटेड रहो ना अभी नहीं बाद में आया समझ आप किसी से पूछ लो आप मुझे कांटेक्ट करो टेलीग्राम के थ्रू मैं आपको वहाँ बता दूंगा कुछ चार्ट्स पढ़े होंगे उसके एबीसी भेज दूंगा आपको ठीक है तो ऐसा नहीं बोलना तो देखो अब ये फोर्थ केस है इंगल सिंह ये एच एल का ये है हमारा सेल का एरिया मार्केट ऊपर गई <coughs> यहाँ पर आई ऐसे यहाँ पर इंगल सिंह बाय बनाया वन इंगल पिंग बाय बनाया ऐसे जोन को ब्रेक करता है ऊपर साइड फिर जोन में आके नीचे ब्रेक कर दिया यहाँ पे यहीं पे इंगल इनवैलिड हो गया ये केस इट्स इनवैलिड जैसे जोन के नीचे क्रॉस किया इनवैलिड फिफ्थ केस केस फिफ्थ इसके नोट्स बना लो गाइस सिंपल तभी समझ आएगा इंगल पिंग सेल बनाया इस एरिया में नीचे की तरफ क्लोज थी एंड ऊपर गई जोन में आया इंगल्फिंग बाय वन बनाया यहाँ पे क्लोज किया फिर नीचे आई ऐसे यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग थ्री बनाया <coughs> ये आपका परफेक्ट है इंगल्फिंग परफेक्ट इंगल्फिंग हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन सिक्स केस सब पूरा दिखाओ ये देखो देख लो मैं एक ही चीज को रिपीट कर रहा हूँ बार बार इसका वीडियो यूट्यूब पे पढ़ाएगा जाएगा तो अगर समझ नहीं आ रहा है तो घबरा घबरा के टेंशन मेरी भी मत बढ़ाओ खुद की भी मत बढ़ाओ ठीक है मिल जाएगा आपको उसका वीडियो आप वहां पे देख सकते हो उसको अच्छे से ठीक है फिर लिंक ओ, अरे लिंक ओपन हो जाएगा भाई अभी क्लास कर लो ना अब आप लिंक मांगने लगे टेलीग्राम का बताओ यार आप सीखने आयो की लिंक मांगने लिंक मिल जाएगी डिस्क्रिप्शन में भाई यूट्यूब पे आप जाओ वहां पे लिंक मिल जाएगी ठीक है ये आपका इंगल्फिंग सेल का एरिया ऐसे आया यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया यहाँ पे ब्रेक किया फिर जोन में आया यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया यहाँ पे ब्रेक किया ठीक यहाँ पे इंगल्फिंग टू बनाया इन केसेस में क्या होगा ना मान लो कि कैंडल्स की विक ऐसे ऐसे हैं ऐसे है लेकिन कैंडल क्लोज नहीं हुई है विक नीचे फ्लोट ही है ऐसे इस जोन के नीचे बाय बनने के बाद लेकिन कैंडल यहाँ क्लोज हुई अंदर तो अगर जोन के अंदर क्लोज हो रही है If candles close inside the zone, they are accurate candles for high liquidity zones. ठीक है यहां ये आपका क्लियर हो जाना चाहिए अब ये आपका हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन का क्लियर अब देखो अभी आपको होमवर्क में क्या करना है इंगल्फिंग बाइक है आपको डेली ओपन करना है आपको वीकली ओपन करना है और आपको हायर टाइम फ्रेम का एच फोर एच वन ओपन करना है इनमें आपको खोजने हैं हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन्स के बाय ठीक है हाई लिक्विडिटी जोन्स के बाय खोजना है आपको उसको मार्क करना है और मुझे टेलीग्राम पे भेजना है एक बंदा कम से कम दस टेलीग्राम भेजेगा मतलब दस लिंक मतलब सॉरी दस फोटो भेजेगा ताकि उसका क्लियर हो जाए छह केसेस कराया है तो मिनिमम बारह तो भेजो कम से कम एक केस के दो चार्ट्स ठीक है एक दो चार्ट मैं आपको अभी लाइव में दिखा देता हूँ फिर से आपका कन्फ्यूजन क्लियर होने के लिए 
ये तो मैंने बाय का कराया अब मैं परफेक्ट परफेक्ट जो है ना खोजता हूँ आपके लिए फिर से बाय ठीक है खोज रहा हूँ एक मिनट चल दो न साथ मेरे हम्म अभी आपको ये नहीं देखना इसका ऐसा लग गया कि टिप्पी गया ठीक है क्योंकि मैंने अभी प्रॉपरली बताया ही नहीं आपको तो आप खुद से क्यों खोज रहे हो मुझे लग रहा है कि जोन में यहाँ पे मिल जाएगा मुझे अच्छा एस एल टिप्पी का नहीं देखना ना अभी एस एल टिप्पी तो बताया ही नहीं ना बॉस ठीक है अब देखो इसमें सारे केसेस कवर हो जाएंगे आपके इंगल्फिंग सेल ब्रॉक जोन में आया इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया बी ठीक फिर जोन में आया इंगल्फिंग बाय बनाया सी या तो आप ये ले लो या फिर आप ये ले लो ठीक है ये आपका परफेक्ट है इंगल्फिंग बाय का एग्जाम्पल ठीक है फर्स्ट इंगल्फिंग सेल ब्रोक द एरिया आफ्टर दैट इट केम इन टू द जोन अगेन फॉर्म इंगल्फिंग बाय फर्स्ट इंगल्फिंग बाय then came into zone again without closing below the zone okay then uh, formed again an engulfing by so this is the best engulfing by area okay now i am uh, searching for next one bhai aap is ka asal chala gaya are bhai main aapko bas abhi hl se dikha raha hu maine ye to nahi bola ki ye area best hai मैं तो बस एग्जाम्पल दिखा रहा हूँ क्या ये मेरे लिए पॉसिबल है कि मैं अभी ही आपको पढ़ाऊँ भी थियोरिटिकल और लाइव चार्ट दिखा भी दूँ कहाँ पे क्या एग्जैक्ट बना हुआ है इसके लिए तो मुझे पहले से बना के देखना पड़ता ना प्लान एकदम कि लोगों को यही दिखाना जो वो देखना चाहते हैं तो ये वो एरिया ही नहीं है जहाँ आपको देखना चाहिए बीसी ना जो मैं एरिया बताऊँगा वहाँ पर वो काम करेगा एटी फाइव नाइन्टी साथ ठीक है अब देखो हम्म हम्म क्लियर है ए ए ए अब हम और खोजते हैं एक लास्ट एग्जांपल खोजते हैं फिर मैं आपको असाइनमेंट दूंगा आपको उन असाइनमेंट्स को भेजना है टेलीग्राम पे पहले आप ज्वाइन हो जाना उसके बाद आप मुझे टेलीग्राम पे मिस्टर नाकोटिक्स पे आप मुझे भेज देना वो अपने असाइनमेंट्स भाई बहुत जरूरी है मैं फ्री में अगर आपको करा रहा हूँ इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि मैं लिनियटली आपको वो कराऊँगा ठीक है आई नीड योर एफर्ट्स आपके एफर्ट्स प्रॉपरली डले होने चाहिए उसमें दिखना चाहिए हाँ भाई एफर्ट डाले हैं बंदे ने बिना एफर्ट्स करा तब तो मैं भी ऐसे ही चिल में ही बोल दूँ ठीक है भाई कर लो सो डोंट बी रथलेस ओके ये हो गया आपका एंगल फिर